Oh my goodness. Thank you guys for joining us this morning on this Taco Tuesday. I just saw your name. <laughs> oh I? my. You know, oh. it is Taco Tuesday, but it is your PSA for the day. <laughs> Watch out for that Taco Bell. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh-oh. Look at that. Lois is broken. Oh. The show just started. And we're not even 30 seconds in. <laughs> Man, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, no. So it is Taco Tuesday, but like I said, PSA for those uh -huh. out there, watch out for the Taco Bell. Because you don't want to be these guys. We can pull up the theme music for it, too. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but the sad thing is, is it's true. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, but the, but what I have to say about that, though, you do it on purpose. Uh, yeah. She's like, you know, I've got some tummy issues. Let's go to Taco Bell. I'm like, what? Does it help? No. That's the only good thing about Taco Bell. That is just not <laughs> right. You know, they changed, they obviously, um, uh, industries change things over the years. But seriously, over the years, they have changed things because Taco Bell used to not do this. Really? Yeah. I don't believe you. <laughs> I do not believe you at all. Unless, you know, as as a kid, your your stomach is, you know, more... Resilient? Yeah. Yeah. Than, than as an adult, which <laughs> doesn't really make sense. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Although, you know, I never have this issue, but I know so many people that do. Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious. You I being one of them. them. <laughs> and doing it in tension. I just don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> <coughs> because it does help, and it's actually yeah. tastier than the medicines that are on the on the shelf. So, <laughs> self medicating with Taco Bell. Who else hey. out there does self medicating with the Taco Bell? I actually know several people who do. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh no. Uh, no. <coughs> Excuse me. And I love the, the title for today, Trashy Taco Tuesday. Yeah, because this Taco Bell is trashy, but it's also a trash day for those who have trash day ah. on Tuesday. <laughs> and Dave says kids are, kids can be, kids are more resilient. They bounce. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes, they true. do. Yes, this they is do. true. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, so... So, you know, I was out today. I haven't put the trash out. I meant to, but as I turned to look towards the trash can as I was taking out the fat one, that would be Tigger, <laughs> the dog, <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, I, I turned and looked, and lo and behold, I see in the sky a stalled weather balloon. Uh-oh. There was a weather balloon in the sky. Yeah, I saw, you had me come out too. Yeah, I had you come out, I'm like, hey, check it out, there's a weather balloon. And, 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 you know, it dawned on me that if we lived in, in perhaps Roswell or something, that we might be concerned. <laughs> oh, no. Why, because it was stalled or just the fact that it's a weather balloon? Both. Uh oh Because it's right there and it's a weather balloon, which means it's actually a UFO, which means we're all going to die. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> David's giving a thumbs up. Is that is that to help plug the Taco Bell problem? Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh. <laughs> Hi, David. <laughs> you are you are just mean today. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm not mean. I'm just not up yet. <laughs> so yeah, there is a cool weather balloon. I wonder if it's still out there. And it's so odd because you know usually weather balloons they go up really fast, and this one was just kind of sitting there. How much that? Hmm. I hope it, uh, there's like not some kind of technical difficulties. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah. It's just like sitting there and like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not like a hot air balloon where you can go up, down, up, down. It's supposed to go up, boom, and then down. <laughs> oh. That's how it works. See, and I've, <coughs> I've never been interested enough to find out. <laughs> but you like law. Something wrong I do. with you. Uh, yeah, something is fundamentally wrong things. with you. <laughs> so let's see, what what did we do yesterday? Oh yeah, I know what we did yesterday. We went to what the heck was it again? Coconino County Parks and Rec Department came up here to talk to our Parks and Rec Department and do a presentation. Mm -hmm. They did a presentation for apparently important people, and then us we folk. Yeah. So and it was about their master plan. Yes, their master plan. Yeah. It's like <laughs> masters of the universe, but not really. <laughs> no, not really. No, no. No. 
Yeah, that was, it was interesting. Um, it was. Not really sure how I felt about that. It was a little odd. I know how I felt about it, yeah. but it's an unplugged. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was just, it was odd because they had a lot of questions and they had a lot of stuff. And, you know, it's, you have, you have the technically big government compared to us versus the little government. And they didn't really have a whole lot to put out there. They were just kind of asking questions and be like, well, how can we help? And they're like, well, give us some money. And they're like, well, how can we help other than give any money? And like, yeah, we got it. <laughs> and then the whole rest of the time was like, well, what else? What else? What else? And I was like, well, I don't know. I, I felt kind of odd about it. It was a little yeah. strange. And, you know, we ended up, uh, you know, canceling the news so that we could cover that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It was a little odd. It was. It, it really was. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it is what it is. It was an interesting meeting. It was. Yeah. Like I said, all of my comments will be unplugged. <laughs> well, I guess you better get on that, then, Lois. And for those of you that don't know what the heck she's talking about, Behind the Hat Unplugged is our Unplugged series where we talk about things that we can't talk about on the normal news page. Yep, yep. Even worse than the morning show. <laughs> it's uh, $10 a month. It helps uh, support LPNN and keep us afloat so that we can keep giving you useless information. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hopefully not useless information. But. It depends on the day. Yeah. If, you're, <laughs> if you are interested, just uh, send us a message here on Facebook or send us an email at likepowdoo at gmail.com. Hey, look, I spammed my own channel. Hey, hey. look at that. Yay. That's funny. Spam, spam, <laughs> spam, spam, spam. <laughs> oh, speaking of spam. Oh, no. So I designed the shirt yesterday. We were talking about it yesterday? Yes. I designed the shirt. Yes, you did. It's waiting final approval. And then, and then you guys can buy it and help support us. But, so the company that I'm going through, for those of you that don't know, is Amazon. Why? Because everybody shops on Amazon. And if you don't, well, this is where the shirt is coming from. It's Amazon. And, uh, <clears throat> I get a whopping $5 and like 32 cents from every sale. So buy a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, five dollars and thirty-two cents. I was like, man, I'm gonna have to sell a heck of a lot of shirts. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> but hey, it's 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 the whole branding thing. So it is. So what it has, it has our logo up here at the top of the T-shirt, and uh, at the top of the T-shirt. And we hope centered. <laughs> Don't get me started on that. It is. It, it's got to be. So it's got our logo at the top, and then underneath it, it says LPNN the shirt. Yep. Yes, it definitely. does. Definitely. I like it, and it comes in five different colors. Uh, yes, five different colors. I picked them, and then uh, Lois approved them. Yes. So <laughs> there's even a pink one. Yes, there is. <laughs> Which, when we can afford it, I'm gonna buy. Yeah, <laughs> you know that, that was the other irony that I found in it. I would like to purchase some of these shirts so we could check the quality and actually brand ourselves, but. We can't afford to buy our own merchandise. <laughs> how, how messed up is that? Excuse me. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> come on. It's, it's just very sad, really. It is, it is. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's what it is right now. What, what? Did you see what Carrie put up? Oh, no, I did not. She put up flags and a heart. Flags and a heart, yes. Today is the anniversary of 9-11. Yes. The seventeenth anniversary. Seventeenth anniversary of nine eleven. I can't believe it's been seventeen years. I can't either. You know, there's people around that you know right now that either don't remember it or weren't even born on I that day. I knew you were gonna go there. I didn't want you to go. There. I know, I know. But yeah, seventeen years ago today, nine yes. eleven. Never forget. Never forget. Yeah. Well, I, I was I was hoping to kind of avoid that for the <laughs> Me morning too. show, but. Me too. You know, it is something that we uh, everybody needs to remember. We're definitely going to be doing some stuff with that later today. Yes. Um, apparently, there's two separate ceremonies going on today mm -hmm. here in the city of Page. Uh, we've got one over at uh, the city park. Huh? Yes, right. that starts at 5.30. And then there is a flag ceremony over at the cemetery starting at 5. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So... Okay. Sorry. So me. so five o'clock at the cemetery, five thirty at uh, at city, at city park. park. So. Yes. All right. So which one? Which one uh, have you decided to try and cover? <laughs> I'm actually gonna try to cover both. Okay. But we'll see how that works. See how because works out. you know what? Maybe we'll maybe we'll pull the news tonight. You can be at one, and I'll be at the other, and then we'll meet up, and then. And, and well, there's also a planning and zoning 
meeting. Right. And and, and uh, that starts at five thirty, and then later tonight at seven is the um, uh, lecture series. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Yeah, and the lecture crazy. series is about dinosaurs. Do you need some water, Lois? No, I just have a tickle in the back of my throat, and it's not going away. It's probably dog hair. Oh, um, probably. <laughs> David. <laughs> it's not a weather balloon. It's just another opportunity for Big Brother to spy on the little guy. Yeah, they've <laughs> moved beyond weather balloons. <laughs> they've got something uh, no. a little bit more... Uh, no, uh, no, I get what he's talking about. Big Brother, like City of Page in Coconino County. <laughs> <laughs> That's as far as they've advanced. <laughs> hey, look, guys, we hit the 1950s. <laughs> Woohoo! That's all we can afford. <laughs> Real Big Brother's got... Your cell phone that you talk to every day, yeah. or Alexa, or Google, or whatever, you know, like all of this smart stuff. And uh, Paige has finally moved up to the weather balloon stage. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Probably got parabolic microphones, too. Oh, no. <laughs> Although that's slightly more advanced than their oh, typical God. weather balloon. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you were looking really forward. Um, for years growing up, I did want to uh, be a big... <laughs> Here's the irony. It was the begging for money. <laughs> oh, man. Well, apparently that didn't work out. <laughs> So, so that and yet here we are. Uh, yeah, <laughs> buy my stuff. <laughs> so, so that's that's actually what uh, got me out of it was having to um, fight for money to be able to do any of it. Yeah, so it take, kind of takes away from the science aspect of it. Doesn't it, it? it does. It does. Kind of like it takes away from the news aspect. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look where you ended up. I know, right. <laughs> Eh. This is more fun, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in, in, in a different way. In a different way. <laughs> well, you know, at least I'm not out in the middle of the desert dying in the middle of the summer. Uh, but um, we're what we are. Out. <sighs> it's always it, something. It apparently, it, it, it seems to be a family thing. So, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> well, except that your dad cooks and you intricacies of your family weirdness. <laughs> no, I do have family weirdness. But, you know, oh, I but think we all do. Holy no. cow. You guys are nuts, man. You're like on the <laughs> phone constantly with we him. We are. We are. Everybody always talking like, hey, how's it going? And I'm just like, why would you want to voluntarily talk to relatives? <laughs> it's not a holiday. Why would you put yourself through that? And yet, here we are. <laughs> He's like, la, 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 la. Because some families actually like each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. So, speaking of which, apparently we have someone coming to visit for the first week of October. Yes, in theory, yes. Who's coming to visit on the first week of October? My mama. Your mama. <laughs> so, we're going to have we're going to have the mama here in Homestead Studios. Are we going to be able to drag her online? I don't think so. Oh, come on! I don't think so. Although with as short as she is, we're gonna have to get her on a step stool yeah, or something true. in here. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and she is shrinking. She is shrinking. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I think that'd be pretty funny to have her in here. Although <laughs> that could be Ooh. interesting. <laughs> yes, controversy oh is goodness. coming. I'm planning it. It's work. I'm it's <laughs> boiling around. No, in I'm, my ta head. I'm talking about if we start controversy before she shows up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then we'd have to definitely. Put some of those guys out there are probably like, what's controversy? It's a show that we're working on, Controversy. <laughs> it's, um, you know, probably going to be, I'm not sure if it should be fun, funny, or down to earth, serious, and woo. <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be controversial, man. Renee's <laughs> <laughs> laughing at us. Okay, so Mrs. Lois is going to be in the house. She has to be on the morning cup, right? That's what I was thinking. I have to get her out. She's very self-conscious. You know what? I don't believe you at all. And she is. The older she, she gets, the, the the less censored and the less she cares. That's why that's why old people are grumpy. She is because they don't care anymore. <laughs> so we get her here in front of the camera, and she's gonna be like, "Mom, <laughs> like, whoa!" <laughs> like you can't say that on the morning cup. <laughs> oh, Renee says we are not short. We are vertically challenged. <laughs> But, but, you know, <coughs> what that means me. is that the flying spaghetti monster loves you more because he's pushing down harder on you to hold you to the earth. You know, my mom, <laughs> my mom continuously forgets to get on Facebook and, and watch us. Mm -hmm. She's going to love that description but of the flying spaghetti monster. Yes. No, it's actually a thing. 
<coughs> I need to get that book again. I, I can't find it. That's a good... It, it, the actual... The, no, why did you <laughs> tell me? <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster is amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta get that out here. You know, we could we could read a verse a day or something. No, <laughs> goodness, no. <laughs> All right, fine. A verse every Monday since he's related to Murphy. <laughs> but yes, his noodly goodness holds us down to the earth surface, and he loves shorter people more because he's pressing harder on them to make sure they don't fly away. So, in your family, he loves you the most. No, um, yes. <laughs> uh, out of the rest of my family, I am the shortest. So yes, yes. his noodly appendage is firmly planted. <laughs> On the <laughs> and Diana is asking if my mom has the gifted laugh. Does she have the gifted laugh? I don't know. My, she... my laugh tends to be more on my dad's side. You're, I was going to say, yours is more of a kind of a maniacal thing. When she laughs, it's more of an evil cackle because <laughs> she's... Oh, she's old and cratchety and mean. Well, you've heard my cousin. <laughs> you've heard my cousin on, on Marco Polo. I have. Well, you've also met her in person. Oh, oh yeah. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And our laughs are very much the same. That's true. And That's so true. it's it's a dad side okay. side All laugh. Right. Um, I know my dad has, has actually told me, you know, depending on the type of laugh I'm using, mm -hmm. uh, he freaks out because it reminds him of his brother. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, yeah. <laughs> but apparently our fans like your laugh because it's intoxicating, yes. <laughs> especially when you break. Uh, yeah, pretty much. That's pretty funny. So should we, we should come up with <laughs> ways to do that every day. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. It hasn't shown up here yet. Well, yeah, there's a, there's a delay. <laughs> oh, no. Wait till you She's see She's already it. broken. This is, this is what Dave has said. I don't even know yeah. why. <laughs> oh, man. Because... Um, we have shocked Dave. We have shocked Dave. It, it's got oh. lag. Deal with oh it. Oh my Alice. goodness. There is huge lag. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Dave <laughs> says, oh God, you are the shortest. Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, I'm the shortest. Yeah, my, my brother, see, I'm 6'2". My brother is 6'4". My dad's 6'6". Six, six, and my grandpa was 6'9". So yeah, I'm the stumpy <laughs> one. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Dave says, I'm the tallest in mine. Oh, damn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the flying spaghetti monster loves you. He got two appendages on you. <laughs> yes, that was the jab oh, at your height. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness gracious. You know, and with it, with as short as Mr. Dave is there, he is definitely the toilet paper that flaps on your boot heel. <laughs> That's a, that's a Darkwing Dave thing there. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm telling you, man. Uh, for those of you that don't know, our our, uh, our our Mr. Dave here that's watching, he actually has his own page, and uh, he is referred to as Darkwing Dave, which is uh, similar to Darkwing Duck, for those of you that remember him. <laughs> so, Dave, go ahead and throw your link up to your page in here so people can check out what oh, you got. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that ought to put some pressure on you to put more posts up. It, it pretty Just much. Saying. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> We're calling you out, man. Calling you out. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. I am the TP that flaps up on your boot. <laughs> oh, no. No? Oh, no. Come on, man. <laughs> I just can't. You, you can, or you just won't. Just like that. Well, yeah. I won't because I can't. <laughs> or I can't because I won't. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so, Lizzie, what, did anything else interesting happen yesterday? I have no idea. I heard crickets in the distance. <laughs> She's like, duh, what? <laughs> I had to remember what I was doing. Oh, I was putting together um, questions for last night. Oh yeah, for the for the meeting mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was actually in, in between these things. I was uh, reading uh, some stuff for a homework that's due Thursday. Ugh. Oh, Thursday night, <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I was putting together something else for tomorrow night. So tomorrow night. What's tomorrow night? Oh, tomorrow no. night. <laughs> <laughs> See, and there's the cricket. There's a shitty council meeting going on tomorrow night, and a special work session. Yes. <laughs> and Dave says, "Mom was, mom is four eleven, Dad five four, Sis four nine, depending on which seven eleven <laughs> walking out of." 
<laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> that was epic. <laughs> I oh guess it's all goodness. relative. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. You are a punny oh. today. <laughs> so, yes, the um, <clears throat> city council meeting and a city work session meeting. The work session meeting is apparently on scheduling for Come to Airlines. Yes. Our, our new airlines in and out of page with the fancy new jet. Yes. That thing's cool. It is. It really is. It's nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, what they would say to, to our previous airline, that's not a plane, that's a plane. No, <laughs> oh, my God. <yeah>. No. <laughs> so that thing taking off yesterday, and I was like, look at that, we're almost real. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost a real city. Look at that. <laughs> At least the airport's moved into... Well, not the airport. At least our airline has moved into the 21st century. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of it, eh, we'll catch up eventually. Oh, wait, parts of us have. And then you've got the rest of the city that's in the 50s with hot air balloons. Or not hot air balloons, weather balloons. <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> as, as surveillance and listening devices and, and, and UFOs. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> we should call them up and be like... Wait, what is that? Be like, it's a weather balloon. Do you mean UFO or weather balloon? And they'll be like, uh. <laughs> How do they know about this? Because we're in the 21st century. We've seen the stories. <laughs> Just saying. What? Oh. So instead of men in black, are they what? Men in gray? Men in gray. Oh. I don't know. Uh, or men, men in tweed? Men in. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, that's good. I like that. Men in tweed. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm, we're going to have to do some bad. You know why? Because that's MIT. Oh, no. <laughs> Men in tweed. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Oh, goodness. My gracious. brain works in strange and mysterious it ways. Does. Though. It does. <laughs> so, yes, Paige has, has the men in tweed. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, she's going to have coffee come out her nose. Come on, spot her nose. <laughs> I beat the face. We don't need coffee all over the electronics, Lois. No, we don't. Oh, goodness oh, man. gracious. Renee says, I'm not saying aliens yet. I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's been in tweet. <laughs> Oh my god. You know what? I could totally see that. So for Halloween, we'll have to convince the uh, the council to dress up in tweed. I don't think I... Oh no, I'm not going to be on the council. Nope, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Men in tweed. Oh goodness gracious. <clears throat> and That's they definitely don't have the, the flasher thingy that the men in black have to make you forget because everyone, they don't need to forget. They just don't care. <laughs> I was going to say that's beyond the 1950s. I know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, Renee says hot coffee, no laughing. Not yet. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, and here she is drinking coffee during the morning show. I know. Taking your life into her own hands. I want to feel like one of our viewers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do get quite a few complaints about that. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we definitely do. Like, stop making me spit coffee on my keyboard. Well, don't drink coffee during the morning show. Mm -hmm. Or the morning cup. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to. That's why it's called the morning cup. Uh, there you go. <laughs> or whatever your morning drink happens to be. Are you trying to be politically correct on my show? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's gotta be coffee. Coffee. Coffee only. So yeah, we got uh, the events and stuff, and I don't know. I guess we'll see how everything turns out. It's gonna be a busy day today. It definitely is. It definitely <clears throat> is. Um, I think if we if we pull the news tonight, then we'll be able to hit all of the events. Maybe. No, what? Yeah, but because the with the and the, hey, yeah, that is true. Yeah, just we'll do, we we do have some things that we do have to put out, so we may put them out later. Yeah, just not in a news. Do like a, a special early report or something. The, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do have some news that's important. But yes, yeah. we do. We do. <laughs> So. All right, so what, what do you have for us today? I Alice? have a bunch of stuff. You got a bunch of stuff? I you have doing? a bunch of stuff. Oh, boy, what do you got there? So Lois? take you your got? pick. Really? Yeah, really. So just randomly click something. All right, how about let's go with number one? <laughs> oh, it opened up two of them. Because you clicked it twice. Well, yeah, but usually it doesn't work on the first click. Oh, that is true. Yeah, pretty much. So, okay, um... 
to preempt this, we've all heard about the Bridezillas. Bridezilla! Can you can you explain to me what a Bridezilla is, Lois? A Bridezilla is the bride to be just going beyond stupid. Going beyond stupid. <laughs> GBS, it's a syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It definitely is. GBS. Um, uh, you may want to close that because that's what? Oh, uh, yeah. That's probably sucking up bandwidth. Everything um, sucks up bandwidth. With the amount of ads that pop up nowadays, the fact that we can actually surf the internet is a free miracle. Just saying. <laughs> <coughs> um. So. Uh, Bridezillas, stupid fly, go away. Um, Bridezillas are the ones that just completely lose their bleep <laughs> before the wedding. Okay. And sometimes they do it during the wedding. And after. We actually have a story about that at some point. We do? Yes, from the pizza fairy. She had a Bridezilla story. Oh, that's yeah. right. Well, we'll talk about, about that, that later, though. Yeah, uh -huh. But either way, she got a... Woof, it's like, hi, yi, yi. Yeah, So this one, and I've heard a lot of ridiculous stories and requests that brides have done. Okay. This one just blows them all away. I mean, I, it, it okay. really does. All right. And shall, shall I read the headline? Yes. All right. <clears throat> This is the headline here. Our request was not bleeping out of the ordinary. Bridezilla, who asks, asked guests to pay $1,200 to attend her wedding, calls it off and breaks up with her fiancé when they refuse to cough up. She tried to charge people to go to her wedding? Yes. What? what and it talk? wasn't the reception. It was... But the... <laughs> it was the actual... Ceremony. Talk about the ego, man. You don't even have to pay to go to the like the Queen of England's wedding. I mean, what the? What the ah, ah. There's like standing room only, and those people are actually famous, unlike whatever peon this is. <laughs> are you serious? She tried to charge twelve hundred dollars to people mm -hmm. to attend her wedding. To attend the actual ceremony. Uh huh. <laughs> I, I can't. There's no. <laughs> really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> so it says here, a disgruntled bride-to-be is revealed she was forced to cancel her wedding. The cancellation came after guests refused to pay $1,500 each to attend the Canadian... Uh, oh, sorry. The Canadian bride was due to tie the knot uh, at a $60,000 wedding, but the couple decided to call it quits just four days before their special day. Why? Because nobody would sign up? Read the next line. Oh, um, let's see. Susan blamed her guests for the breakdown of her relationship on Facebook. <laughs> ah! You're the one charging $1,200. How about you own up to some of that right there? Just saying. <laughs> oh, jeez. The poster later responded to the overwhelming reaction, saying that she had never known Susan to be this obnoxious in the past. Uh, wow, I just... It, yeah. What? $1,200... To go to someone's wedding. Man, uh, you couldn't... You'd have to pay me. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I hate weddings. I mean, funerals are better because at least the person knows they're dead. <laughs> it's a lot of happier experience. I mean, you know, everything's good. A celebration of life at the wedding. It's like... I'm sorry, man. We'll see you. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but it just... Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, like I said, I have seen a lot of crazy things. I have heard a lot of crazy things. This one just, no pun intended, takes the cake. <laughs> because it is to attend the wedding. Yeah, I the understand. We've already said that. But ceremony. Put 100 bucks to go to a wedding? You give me 1200 bucks, and I still might not show up. And it was just like, nope. are you freaking kidding me? Now, if you go back to my list. Oh, okay. All right, there, there we the go. The link below. Oh, more of the same bride zoom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see if it'll pop up. There it is. Excuse me. Let's scroll, let's scroll down. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, where was it? Um, Come on, you can do it. Okay, Um, start right here. Oh, you want me to read that? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> all right, so this is still from the bride zoom thing. In her long-winded, expletive-filled explanation, 
The former bride accused her friends and family of ruining her marriage and her life. How could we have our wedding that we dreamed of without proper funding? We'd sacrificed so much and only asked each guest for around $1,500. We talked to a few people who even promised us more to make our dream come true, she reportedly wrote on Facebook. My maid of honor pledged $5,000 along with her planning services. We tearfully thanked and accepted. My ex's family offered to contribute $3,000. So our request for $1,500 for all of our guests was not beeping out of the ordinary. Like we made it clear, if you couldn't contribute, you weren't invited to our exclusive wedding. It's a once in a lifetime party. Shut up! <laughs> Ah! Whiny toad. <laughs> Light yourself on fire and save the earth. Anyway. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Whoops, I clicked the button. <laughs> I saw you did. So, I mean, what? Oh, my God. Oh, wait, she continued. <laughs> we just needed a little push. Our dream wedding amounted to $60,000. All we asked was for a little help from our friends and family to make it happen. Oh, dear. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, no. This one right here. Realizing they would not be able to afford their dream wedding, Susan's fiancé suggested tying the knot in Las Vegas. The bride quickly shut down the idea, asking, Am I supposed to get married in the heart of shady gamblers, alcoholics, and the get-rich-fast fallacy? Ah! <laughs> <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> <laughs> These people are horrible, man. Wow. What a whiny pain in the butt. <laughs> I think this guy got off easy. <laughs> no kidding. Talk about saving yourself, right? Like, holy monkey, I man. I have never heard of somebody requ requiring their guests to pay to attend the wedding so they could be reimbursed for their wedding. Yeah, that's not how that works. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're trying to buck the trend. Maybe set a new, a new precedent. It, it oh. doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> oh, you got people popping up over Renee. Renee. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Renee says, he needs to do story time at the library. <laughs> Did this take place in England? Eh, probably not. No, because no, it says it dollars Canada. and not pounds. Oh, It was Canada. Oh, no. <laughs> I should have, oh man, I should have found that out first. <laughs> CAD, Canadian. It was, it, the reason there was a discrepancy in the cost. Oh. It, it, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, so, we could have all yeah. kinds of fun stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> so yes, Canadians. Well, I guess that explains a few things. <laughs> but you did an English accent. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I can do whatever accent I want because well, it's my story. That would be why Renee was asking if it. It Did it take place in England? No, but she's uh, acting like a snooty English person. <laughs> oh, the stereotypical. Yes, yes. Mm. Oh, man, what a... a just... Yeah. <laughs> the gall. The goddess. I think she lost a lot of friends, too. Well, you know what? I don't think they were real friends to begin with, because they didn't know what they were getting into, eh? <laughs> <laughs> trying to. So yesterday we were um, talking about Louisville Police Department. Oh, Renee says your accent was killer. <laughs> <laughs> You've not seen anything yet, uh, Oh, no. <laughs> What's the Lick. problem, Lois? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so. Oh, no. Oh, oh, there she went. There she went. <laughs> oh, we got a snort out of that one. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, goodness. Well, we so, have, have. There's a failure. I mean, I not have. really. No. <laughs> so, yesterday we were talking about PR goals in, in police departments. PR. Oh, oh with, okay. Um, Public relations. Yes, with uh, the Louisville P 
PD and their <laughs> and their hashtag. Hashtag they're freaking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag they're freaking awesome. I know. I know right? <laughs> so we're gonna go a different route. <laughs> with, uh, um, wait, before you go on to that, I, I just noticed that you know in the Bridezilla thing, you actually typed out Bidezilla. Oh, <laughs> it says Bidezilla. Is that related to Biden, perhaps? Uh, no, that would no, be okay. a, a, a very early morning typing. <laughs> <laughs> I just wondering. All right, so what do you got next there, Lois? What do you got? So, okay, um, the third link. Eins, zwei, drei. Uh, look, it was in order. Uh-huh. What? What? No. So, when it comes to PR, police hey, departments... I just fell down. My chair broke. <laughs> police departments need to be very careful about what they announce. Oh, I remember and this one. Need, <laughs> and, and just as a, they should wait until thing confirmation comes back. Which is what we actually do. We actually verify and make sure before we start stopping out the stuff. Pretty much. So I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and read this headline here. Renee says I heard that snort. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did too. I was right here. All right, so here's the headline: Thirteen pounds of white powder seized is sugar, not fentanyl. <laughs> there was a better headline for this. Um, there was, there was. I should have, you should have gotten that one because I, I what they were find it. The original one was like, uh, you know, the cops announced that they seized like two billion dollars in drugs, and it turned it out to be powdered sugar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they said that it passed the field tests for drugs, but it was powdered sugar. <laughs> and so it was. was great. They thought. They had announced and thought they had seized eight million dollars. Yeah, whatever. whatever. It, yeah, it was eight million. Eight million. Okay. And and it turns out it was eight dollars. <laughs> Cause it was thirteen pounds of powdered sugar. Whoops. <laughs> Can you imagine being oh. the guy that was in charge of that press release? Oh Whoopsie. <laughs> like, man, our, our police force is doing an amazing job. They just seized eight million dollars in drugs. Oh, powdered sugar? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <coughs> I would hate to be this poor PR person. <laughs> you know what? They did it to themselves. That's all I have to... So, I got a question for you. So, <clears throat> is it that they can't rely on their field test to find out if it's drugs, or did they lie and just not test it? That's a good question. Just saying, which one might it be? Which one do you think it is? I'm thinking it could be a combination, I because there are different tests. Well, no, there aren't really different tests. Never mind. <laughs> You're trying to help justify it, aren't you? No, I'm not, actually. I just did. No, I, mean, I was thinking Either human the test error. failed or they didn't do it. I was thinking human error and they used the wrong compound to mix. Mm. They, they, they usually make those things idiot proof, so. What do we know about idiot proof? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the more idiot proof you make it, the harder it is to use. All right. All right, all right I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. <laughs> and idiot proof tends to be a challenge for a lot of people. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, one way or another, human error, whether intentional or not. <laughs> it is um, a funny headline, though. I mean, can you? Oh, I'd, oh. I'd be kicking my so, Somebody's head's rolling, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Somebody got canned on that one. Well, and, and the poor PR person, they put out what they're allowed to mm-hmm. or and what they're told to. <laughs> and so, I mean, you're at the bottom of the rung, really, as the PR person. So and the PR guy's like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, no. <"Hello." laughs> and you know someone told this poor person, go ahead and put this out. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have waited for the verification on that one. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like so, that. along the lines of, uh, excuse me, illicit white substances, <laughs> go to the fourth one. Oh, oh no, oh, not this one. Oh, oh, yes. I remember you talking about this the other day. Um, Maybe? Apparently not. How about control? That's what I was oh. doing. It's not working. Oh. That, uh, apparently, you broke it. Did okay, it. click. Go to the end of it. Okay. Click enter. Now try it. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't hit the return. To make uh, yeah, <laughs> right. Let's see. All right. So this one's pretty funny here. I said this, this one comes out of Florida, Florida, <laughs> Florida, Florida, Florida. I don't know, man, but coffee ground. 
<laughs> okay. Um, so anyway, this one is out of Florida. Surprise, surprise. I'm going to go ahead and uh, read you the headline here. Florida woman claims wind blew cocaine into her purse. Well, they do call it blow. <laughs> that is true. I forgot about that. Yep. That is true. They do call it blow. But Renee, yeah, she actually claimed that wind blew cocaine into her purse. Renee's asking, did they field test it? Yes, yes they okay, actually... Uh, the, the fentanyl. Yeah, I said yeah. that. We were talking about the There's field testing. There's a lag! They said that there was field testing. And that, man, I wonder how much lag there is. I don't know. But yeah, they, they field tested it and confirmed it was fentanyl. And then they got it back to the real lab and they're like, oh, it's powdered sugar. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. <Yep. laughs> so yeah, Florida woman claims wind blew cocaine into her purse. So I'm assuming she got apprehended by the police. They searched her and found coke or blow <laughs> in her purse, and she's like, "Oh, I don't know what happened. It's not mine. The wind just blew it right in there." Pretty much. <laughs> that pretty oh, much. Man, jeez. <laughs> I mean, I guess when you're desperate, you gotta do what you gotta do. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you never know. Someone may buy it. <laughs> well, you know what? I bet the cops that thought the powdered sugar was fentanyl might have bought it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Or now they'll be like, oh, it's not drugs, it's just powdered sugar. <laughs> oh, goodness. And then let her go. Come on, man. It'd be like Benny Hill running around. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? No. Florida. Come on, oh, man. Come on. There is got there has got to be something in the water. Yeah, maybe. I, I mean, maybe. seriously. It wouldn't surprise me. So <clears throat> Authorities say a Florida woman is blaming a windy day for the cocaine that police found in her purse. Uh, This news station reported that Kenesha Posey was one of two passengers in a car stopped by Fort Pierce police in late March. Police say an officer smelled marijuana and that after searching the car, cocaine and marijuana in separate bags were found inside a purse Posey had on her lap. Authorities say they questioned her about the drugs. According to the police report, Posey responded, It's windy day. It must have flown through the window and into my purse. Or it's aliens. (laughs) 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 Renee says, Wait, what? Those Florida windstorms? I know, right? (sighs) There was an invisible hurricane. (laughs) I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. (laughs) It just... She said that wind oh blew a bag of coke and marijuana into her purse. What? <laughs> it was <sighs> Casper. You know, I had very little faith in humanity to start the day with today. It's just not if you're not just, <laughs> just Florida. Florida, Florida, Florida. You know, I still stick by my theory that they're not drinking water. Like regular drinking water, they're okay. drinking swamp water. They're drinking sw- so the swamp water, the Everglades, is what's causing Florida to I lose their so. minds. I think so. You know what? It's all the swamp gas. <laughs> <laughs> it's the swamp gas for that, and then there's the swamp gas fire that reflects light off of Venus in the atmosphere. Oh, and good like, Lord! <laughs> <laughs> I just. <laughs> Uh oh. And there she goes, everybody. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> oh, no. That is pretty funny. It is. It is. Oh, man. Ooh. Goodness gracious. Yep. I, Great I, bowls I, of fire. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right. So, we, we, we got enough time for like one or two more there, Lois. What do you got? Okay. What do you got? Um, let's, let's do, just do the next one. Uh, the picture? Uh, well, no. The. What? Uh, um. So start with the headline, which is this, and then be- okay, that's right. from the actual news station. That's what's funny about it. Oh, okay. So this is a news station that posted on their Facebook feed. Yes. A story that happened, and then the news station commented on it later. Yes. So they're kind of trying to do like what we do, where we have well, some fun with our stuff? Yes. <laughs> most definitely. All right. So here's the headline from the story from this news station. Interstate reopened after crews clean up hundreds of exploded body spray cans. Body spray like Axe body spray. It was Axe. Oh, was it Axe? It okay. was Axe. So apparently there was some kind of accident, something, and the cans exploded. 
Yes. And in case you didn't know that could happen, well, it can. And they use uh, <laughs> propane as a propellant. But anyway. <laughs> what? All right, so the news station comments on this. Too much axe. Hundreds of cans of axe body spray exploded on a Texas freeway. Now, the entire highway smells like a middle school locker room. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got the crazy <laughs> face. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. But this is coming out... This is coming from a Florida, a, a large news station. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> I like that. And, and they don't do that very often. No, not often. They were having some fun. They, they were. I wonder if somebody got fired after that. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I like because that. it wasn't the headline. I know, and, but still. And because of that, I had to click on it. Oh, you clicked on it? I did, you know, so it was just one of those. Yeah, hey, it worked. <laughs> it made you click on it. It did, it Middle did. Middle school locker room. Oh, God. Do you like Axe Body Spray? I hate Axe Body Spray. I've never purchased this stuff. I have. Yeah, I don't, you know, yeah. I don't need a body spray. I take a shower. <laughs> You know, occasionally, you know, I put the deodorant on, but... Uh, Not occasionally. Yeah, I mean, when I need it. But uh, when Axe first came out, it, it just... No. I love their commercials, though. Uh, their commercials their are Their PR great. campaign and their commercials are freaking amazing. They make they me laugh. They are. They are hilarious. You got the guy that sprays it, and then all the women start running around. Oh, no. Diana says, accident. <laughs> <laughs> I like what the you did there. The puns are strong with her today yes, as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Good work, Diana. <laughs> but no, I I have not liked Axe since it came out. Apparently, it's course, extremely popular because they're still in business. I mean, they I still a lot of that stuff. They are, and obviously, their advertising works. But um, it's wannabe French people that buy it. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> I remember being around guys. Everybody said the same thing. It was an accident. <laughs> Uh, Everybody's uh, on the same wavelength. Yes. <laughs> I remember being around guys who would wear it. Seriously? And it would and it would feel like all the oxygen was being sucked out of the area. Oh man. <laughs> it was that bad. You know, I've 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 been in rooms where that happens where, you know, there's somebody's wearing the, the, the perfume or oh. the axe or whatever it is and it's so strong that you can you're like That's axe. That is no, X. it's not, because I've smelled old lady perfume that does the same thing. Right. No, I'm explaining that, oh, is it, that, yeah. that that's what Axe does. <laughs> I thought you were saying, no, it's only Axe. Like, no, there are plenty no, of freaking deodorants. But other, this, no. one, this one, it doesn't matter how little or much you spray. It it's has the like, same effect. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it was one drop, it has the same effect. That's terrible. Yeah, I don't know, man. But yeah, they're commercials. I do like them. Oh, their commercials are great. Yes, yes. Okay, scroll down. I added one this morning. Uh oh. Okay. Today, Lois. This one. This one? Yep. Okay. You could have said the last one, Lois. Just saying. You could have. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my response today. Oh, my. <laughs> I actually saw the headline for this and was wondering if you were going to put it in there. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Hold on, i got to try and pause the video here. Yeah. There we go. All right. Pause it. <coughs> really? <laughs> Apparently. All right. So, this is the headline, guys. Roadside crack pipe vending machine seized in Brookhaven, Long Island. An actual crack pipe vending machine. And so... We wonder where, you know, because I always mention, I'm like, stop smoking the crack. We wonder where they get the crack pipes. Apparently, they got vending machines. That's the thing, now. Crack pipe vending machines. In New York, anyway. Or is that Long Island? No, Long Island. Long Island. Island. But so, isn't Long Island in New York? Or is no. it in California? I don't even know. <laughs> My brain ain't working. Ah! My, well, there's Long Island in New York. Is there, where's Brookhaven? It's remember. East Coast. Huh? Is it East Coast? Yes. Okay. <laughs> They got crack pipe vending machines. You can't be making fun of me when we've got crack pipe vending machines. So, the name of the vending machine. Okay. okay or the company. There was um, an actual company? I said company. Oh, all right, all right. Pens. What? Pens. Pens? P E N S. Pens. And so, authorities don't know if an actual crime has occurred. Why? Other than 
breaking town code of putting up a vending machine without a permit. <laughs> <laughs> so were they actually pens or crack pipes? I mean, what was it? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to read it. A makeshift crack pipe vending machine has been discovered outside of a shopping center in a town on Long Island, authorities say. Residents in Karam, Brookhaven, complained after a vending machine dispensing crack pipes made from modified pens popped up in front of the Karam Commons Shopping Center on Middle Country Road. The town of Brookhaven released an image of the pipes that the box dispensed that appeared to be made out of a broken down pen with a small piece of gauze. The big blue vending machine labeled PENS was fitted into the grass outside the shopping center with concrete and fastened with padlocks. It was selling each pen for two dollars and quarters. <laughs> all right, all right. The next paragraph is where authorities don't know. But so far, police have uh, said selling the items might not be a crime. The pipes sold were in fact real pens that write, police said. But the tubular section of the pen can be used as a crack pipe. <laughs> This so makes it even better. They're novelty <laughs> pens and they can't get busted. <laughs> so the only thing that they at, at right now know that these people are in trouble for are setting up vending machines without getting a permit and then, from the town. Yeah, right. well, and then technically the vandalism because they poured a concrete pad and bolted this thing to it. Sounded <laughs> <laughs> <That> a little <laughs> ballsy. <laughs> Like, we're just going to pour a concrete pad, bolt the vending machine on it, and put stuff in it and see if people will buy it. Actually, they were movable. It, what? The concrete pad wasn't stuck oh. to the ground. Right. It was stuck to the box. Okay. <laughs> Either way, how much money was found in the machine? They have not released that information. <laughs> oh, I want to know that. How many quarters were in that sucker? <laughs> But yes, they have not released it. But they don't know if a true crime has taken criminal place. crime has it's taken place. It's a novelty pen with gauze. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is funny. Oh, jeez. So how do they know it was a crack pipe then? Yeah, because uh, from what I understand, um, the ca the casing around the ink container mm -hmm. was was glass rather than plastic. So high end pens are made out of glass too. But just saying. There you all go. Right, all right, all right. Well. So yeah. Uh huh. Well, <laughs> I I think on that uh, that novelty of human ingeniousness and police befuddlement. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it wouldn't be police befuddlement. It would be law befuddlement. Well, they're trying to figure out if an actual crime is taking place. Right. You know, I guess that's a good point. <laughs> is it actually illegal to sell pens? <laughs> <laughs> Where's your proof? Beyond a reasonable doubt. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, man. I don't want to go down that road yep, right now. Oop, not now. <laughs> <laughs> so I think on that note, uh, we're going to call it a day, guys. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on all of these posts. It really does help us out. And thank you for being a part of the network. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> <sighs> Who's ready for some Rupert? I am. <laughs> Rupert, where are you? In there somewhere. <laughs> do, 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 do. Bye, guys.